we were careful to book outside the school holidays. We also decided to drive from Melbourne, departing from Melbourne and driving. Driving in this direction has the advantage that you can easily pull into the pullouts. You should take a film that sign over there. What does it Not say? many signs say you're going to die if you go on the cliff. <laughs> you are also in the lane which is closest to the ocean. The awesome power of the waves sure has no impact on the sandstone cliff. The rise of the Chinese middle class in Yeah, this is the Lock and Gorge. The pounding of the waves is continually making more impact. The time we were there, they were not. It's the beach of Port Campbell. <laughs> this is Port Campbell. It's a good place to stock up some supplies and it has a few good caravan parks as well. But prices are really like almost incomprehensible then it's worthwhile stopping at a store or if you want to support the local businesses stock up here if you like. Legend has it that a local photographer set up here in Port Campbell to take photographs of the photographer. It was hard to get down to the bottom of the rock and I had a pretty short this here. So we are at the London Bridge in, on the Great Ocean Road and there used to be two arches. We were just reading the sign that in 1991 of them, a bit of rock fell into the ocean. And two people were stuck out there on the new island <laughs> and had to be rescued by a helicopter. Did they have to pay for the helicopter? <laughs> Probably not. Because of the difficulty in getting down to the beach, Woohoo! a set of steps was Then we're here at the Twelve Apostles. Really Juno, you need to Not stay away from the wall. I'm really happy to go down and have to uh, enjoy some great views. Uh, uh, climb down the steps. Climb down the steps. And you walk around the corner, I guess. Follow the tourist procession. Where, well, like... <laughs> If you're willing to get up early enough, it's not too hard to go down and get some good pictures. The colours were really vibrant. 
probably even more than I've managed to capture in these videos and photographs. And it's a really peaceful time of the day. Photographers were taking a risk and they were putting their lives at danger. But they probably got better pictures than I did. In total, we spent about a week on the Great Ocean Road. A few days up near Lawn, and a few days down this end near the Twelve Apostles. It was nice to drive up and down the road between Port Campbell and our campground. By staying near the Apostles, I was able to get up early and take these photographs. But I was also able to beat the crowds. A lot of people seemed to arrive later in the day, after making the longer trip from Melbourne. At the time we were there, about a week before the Easter school holidays, we didn't have too much competition. This is, this is the campground near Lawn that we stayed at. It's called Cumberland River. It's rustic style camping, and you're allowed to have campfires at some times. The management were friendly, and you're able to take long walks into the gorge, and up to the waterfall even. It was really pretty and well worth staying there but it was a little expensive it was about 45 dollars a night or 40 dollars a night i believe lawn is a little bit trendy and they had a sculpture festival when we were there this end of the this end is where you see the really big bright blue ocean down towards lawn this is the area near cumberland river the ocean looks great big and blue here some fires had destroyed some of the houses in the summer before. You were able to see koalas quite easily. Some pictures of where the fire had destroyed. Driving near Apollo Bay. Stopping to see some rocks people had put together. Great little thing to do with kids to build a few of these Buddhist style rock stacks. The Great Ocean Road itself, this is the Otway Ranges um, sort of wet rainforest closer towards Apollo Bay. The road itself was put together by soldiers after the Second World War. This was really a nice like hour walk around we took around a rainforest trail and some more images of the Twelve Apostles. <clears throat> 